three E's for Edward, of course, refers to the three E's on my acoustic guitar. And uh, Edward, of course, refers to Edward Van Halen, one of my favorite guitar players in the universe. Um, for this song, I wanted to take advantage of this tuning, of course. And uh, like I said before, it's very good for arpeggios. And then the picking thing that happens later is a three note per string. So that's the, that's the basic lick. Same, uh, same kind of rhythm and phrase, but with different uh, stretches. This one's two whole step stretches sitting in the fifth fret. I think up to the, uh, what is that, ninth fret with a hole and a half. Two whole steps on the seventh fret. Because these are oxes again, it's, I'm using the same shape on each string. It's all the same notes. And the last one is uh, two whole steps in the fifth fret. I have one, one up here on the twelfth fret with a C bass note and one on the eleventh fret. and then a diminished one with open strings. And then just freak out and B. And back to your rhythm. Well, that is one extra chord. I hate that stretch, but you can do it if you have your guitar up really high. Uh, F sharp. And uh, A sharp. And I think that's mostly it. At the end, I just uh, try to do some tapping along with the arpeggios. And uh, put Edward in my heart and three strings in my hands. And there you have it. Kids, get out of my yard! This is a song called You Kids. I think every guitar instrumental album needs one punk rock song at least. So I tried to write one with some big chords. That's kind of the main riff. And just moving power chords around by sliding. Nice little fast picking lick there, where I go. Try to get that kind of cello-y, nice little scratch on it. For the solo, I wanted to play 16th notes, and this tempo of the song is pretty quick. You know, it's going, uh, let's see. So, you know, to play 16th notes, I'm, I have to do like, a, you know, pretty fast lick. And the ones I came up with, this one is the first one. It's an E mixolydian scale. A little 
slower. But the thing to make scales interesting is you don't always want to play them straight up and down. So I tried to do a pattern within it, which is something like this. I think when you hear it, you can definitely you can definitely tell that I'm repeating that pattern. I'm not picking every note, there's a lot of ham runs and pull offs to make this uh, go easier, or at least pull offs. So, in context, let me see, it's going like. Uh... Yeah. The next one has a lot of fast picking in it. The pattern is like this. Again, I'm staying within E mixolydian but I'm doing it on two strings, the, the high B and E. I think that's it. Let me speed it up a little bit and see if it is. Uh, that's it. Now at the end I pull off to the open B, which gives my left hand time to hit that big bent chord. So I worked that out beforehand. These were not improvised. And it gets me right on the beat. Like one, two, three, four. The next one is straight tremolo picking, where I pick one note really fast. I just slowly move the note up with my left hand. And the last one almost sounds like a sweep, but it isn't. It's a lot of hammer-ons and pull-offs using the open B string. That kind of like, let's see how I'm playing this. Yeah, so let's see, I'll play it again real slow. Barring with the pinky, then pulling off and then doing one more B before coming back to that bar. So it's like... Real slow again so you can get it. At that slow tempo, it sounds kind of unusual rhythmically, but as you speed it up, it develops its own pulse, and then you can hear how to phrase it. So let's start speeding it up. And then I just took it up the neck chromatically. And then I had more fun just trying to get a cool noise out of my G-string. And there's some punk rock for you. Thank you very much. Alright, I want to talk to you about hammer-on